Okay, in this video, I'm going to answer one of uh, you guys' questions. You asked, uh, how do you maintain such high profitability even though your conversion rate is low? Uh, you don't. You can't. <laughs> you can't. Okay, obviously, the, the higher the product, the lower the conversion rate. Uh, like, everyone knows that, okay? However, like, you need to really try to increase the conversion rate because um, Facebook controls, Facebook and everybody else who's advertising with you, including me, is competing against you. So what you can control is not Facebook. You can control the product page. Do you, do you get what I mean? So it's really best for you if your conversion rate is low to fix your conversion rate first. Then you go and pump in more traffic, more more traffic into into the page. Because if you don't write and you scale up, you're you're going to be not profitable. You're gonna like a low spend, a low spend probably like hundred dollars per day to a thousand dollars per day. It's still okay. Everything's fine. But once you tr try to scale up, right? It's very very difficult. Okay. So um, if your conversion rate is low, go and fix it first. Like you can't maintain high profitability uh, without, okay? But because I, I see data across different industries, so I can kind of share with you uh, generally what you should look for, okay? G uh, give me one second, okay? So for example, if you are spending, um, the product cost, right, is generally $100 and more, right? Then uh, an okay or I guess um, conversion rate that will still be give you profitability, right, is anywhere from like 0 0.7, probably 0.7% and up. Okay, that was really bad. Uh, yeah, 0.7% and up. Okay, if you're selling uh, anywhere from a $50 product to a $99 product, you want to aim, you really want to aim for at least a 1.8% and up. Okay, and then anything, obviously, anything af uh, uh, under that, so the, the, the dollar amount basically, right? Anything $50 and below, you, you really must try to aim for anything 3% and up. Otherwise, it's very hard for you to be profitable. Okay. Um, Shopify, right, uh, the conversion rate is generally not very good because all their product pages are not customized. So if you can go into a landing page builder like uh, Gem Pages, uh, and then you build up a separate landing page for that to make it optimized or Zipify, um, you definitely want to try that, okay? So these are the numbers generally that like the minimum you should try to do. If anything below that, uh, I, I really find it very, very difficult to even keep profitability. Yeah, okay, so um, this is just a few benchmarks that you, you can come across, just my experience and stuff, uh, but yeah, okay? And how do you actually fix the conversion rate? Okay, you ensure everything's mobile optimized. So because 90% of traffic is mobile, so you need to keep that in mind, okay? Put in a lot of social proof and testimonials. So everything about their face, right? Put in a lot of cuts to, uh, faces. People trust people, okay? And then the flow of the page, okay? So if, I don't know whether you use this, but uh, generally once you hit like 20K a month, Definitely go and, go and get this, but um, uh, like personally, I like Hotjar a lot. So Hotjar is like the heat mapping software, and this allows you to, to see the heat maps uh, when traffic comes to the page and how much of that actual traffic is scrolling and consuming the content, right? I was looking at one of the pages and it's like, people don't even scroll past the 25% mark. So imagine if you have uh, a ton of like BS on top, and then people don't even see the content on the videos that you put out on the page, right? You want to try to move the content up so that they consume the content. Make sense? They, so that they, they understand your value proposition and stuff. Okay, this one you need to see the data from, from Hotjar and stuff. So uh, just keep that in mind. Obviously, and, and the last one I, I always say, and I think it's one, the biggest problem with a lot of people, is like they don't sell the benefit. They think that the features are important. So for example, um, like this this is like a mosquito uh, repellent sort of thing. Like nobody's gonna talk about how this cap is so great and the, the paste is like green and has uh, ingredients or whatever. They're gonna sell it from the fact that, hey, this solves um, your very, very itchy mosquito bites. Okay, so you wanna sell sell the benefit in a sense. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you increase your profit, uh, conversion rate and profitability. And even though I'm in the ads business, uh, funny enough, right? It's like, you can't trust Facebook. Uh, yeah, okay? <laughs> you can't trust Facebook and Google, not really. Uh, so. Keep in mind, it's their business, not your business. Your business is, is your email list. That's why I, I keep pushing you guys to, to focus on email as well. Okay, traffic is just one side of things. One, one side of things. Okay, yep. Hopefully that answers your question. And uh, yep, if you have any other questions, please put them down in the comment section below. I will uh, answer them and I'll create videos around them like just like this so I can help you guys. Okay, uh, let me know how it goes. And yep, that's pretty much it. Yep, see you in the next one.